since everyone seems to want to know what I eat when I'm in Japan, here's what you guys get. This is the first picture. Um, what am I down? I'm down a rook. Let's go to Nation Nation 2. So I think you guys see that's the first thing. So that's that's like that's uh there's fried octopus inside of that. That's the first first picture. That was when I was at um that was, that, yeah, it's takoyaki. That's when I was in um I was at the temple, the big temple in Japan. I forget which one exactly it is. Um that's the first picture that, that's takoyaki uh from Japan. Um oh shoot, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Um Okay, one second. So, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the next picture. So, okay, so one of the things that Japan is very famous for is these vending machines. He moves, I'll play D4. So one of these things Japan is very famous for is these vending machines. As those of you who have been to Japan, of course, are very familiar with them. Um, those of you who have not been to Japan are probably not familiar with them, but they've got these vending machines basically on the streets all, all over the place in like Tokyo and Osaka. Um, all the big cities really where you can just go and get a, get a, get a drink out of a vending machine randomly on the street. Um, they, they don't, yes, thank you. Thank you, Nikki Deedles. Thank you. Thank you. I knew, I, I should have thought of that before I posted this picture. Um, thank you for that. But yeah, anyway, they've got these, um, they've got a lot of vending machines just on the street. So like 4am, you can just go to a vending machine at the train station and get your morning drink. Um, so yeah, you can do that. So now, okay. Now just to give you an example, this is not shilling or anything, but if you look at this can, this is another thing that I always thought was very funny. Now I'm, now I'm old and I've been to Japan 500,000 times. Um, but when I was younger, I always thought it was funny that, uh, I thought it was funny that basically the cans of soda and, and even like Red Bull and everything you get, basically it's like half the size. So like, it's, it's weird because when you, when you think about it, like if I go get a can of Coca-Cola from a vending, normal vending machine here in America, it'll be like twice the size. So like the Red Bull can you see here, um, a Coca-Cola can or a Sprite can would be exactly the same size. And, um, yeah, it's half size. Exactly. It's like half the size, which is kind of weird, but it is half the size. Um, so let's take visiting Tokyo in three months. Are you a gaijin or are you a local stun? Well, it's, if you're, if you're a gaijin, then you're going to have a great time. Uh, let's play knight d3, maybe knight b4, maybe just e4 at some point. I think I'll play e4 here, kick the queen. Uh, um, oh, sh how does he see knight d4? What is this? Queen h1. How does he see knight d4? That's obscene. He hangs pieces and then he sees knight d4. Unbelievable. So yeah, so okay, so that's um that's that's the next one. Now now we'll now we'll keep going, you guys, because you guys are demanding all the food. There you go. There's the next picture. So you'll see um what is night what is this? So I'll play night before. This is um this is some 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 green tea on the left with uh, I believe it's a, like a crab. It's like a it, this is this isn't super Japanese, this is at the train station in Tokyo. It's um it's like shrimp. And, and I think it's some, um, is that, is that raw tuna? It's like, it's like kind of like a tuna. Um, it's like a, um, tu it's not tataki. It's the other word. Like, um, what is it? It's like, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but yeah, basically it's like a salad with guacamole, um, shrimp, um, some tuna tartar, I think is what it is. So it's pretty good. So yeah. So that's the next one. So that, that was pretty good. I got that at a train station. Okay, show you the takoyaki. Now we're gonna get to the very serious stuff. Now we're gonna get to the stuff that's gonna go like food gasms all over the place. So here's the next picture, you guys. Um, actually, I cut this one's cut off for some reason. So um, so here you guys go. Here's your food gasm. This is like the real. This is the real, real stuff, you guys. Um, now now we're now we're into the serious part of the uh, of the stream. This is a uh, ramen. This is some very serious ramen. Um, this was ramen, I think, just at the train, uh, just at the normal train station in Tokyo as well. Um, so it's just some, yeah, this is not, this is not Marichan ramen. No, this is not. Um, I'm going to take, try to get sneaky here. This guy was not playing well and suddenly he's playing like all the best moves. Like, I think this guy might be, uh, he wasn't doing anything at all. And suddenly he's like playing great moves after playing a very, very bad opening. So I'm a little bit suspicious of this guy. Yeah, where, where's BJH? Because the resident... Let's play King G3. Um, so yeah, so this was just, uh, this was the ramen. Uh, this was the ramen. Um, what is in the spoon? It's an egg. So, the, so you see, basically in Japan, or at least at this place, they do it properly. Um, 
you don't you don't get you know it's not like you, you get the broth with um with all the stuff on the left and then you get the uh, you get the ramen noodles and the egg on the right so it's uh really really nice let's just play uh bishop e3 and king f3 let's play like rook b1 oh not blundered rook h3 but he sees it of course So King G4. Yeah, so this is a classic ROM and let's take. I've got Rook C3 now. Let's take, let's grab. All right, next game. Yeah, so, all right, um, yeah, so this is, this is the ROM, and I'm leaving this picture up for a little bit longer, you guys, because I believe BGH, the, uh, the, uh, the resident ROM and mod, mod dude wants, um, will want to see the picture, so yeah, so, so that was, the, that's, that's some ROM, and so that was really, really good, you guys, like, fantastic, um, uh, now I'll just keep, keep going, um, yeah, so like, uh, here we go. Here's another picture. This isn't ramen. This is just uh, this just another typical meal you get. So like, one of the reasons Japanese people live forever is because you just eat like normal, normal like stuff. So you'll see, this was just a bento box basically that I got on on the train on the way to um, Kagoshima from uh, Tokyo. The ninety-three. So you'll see, it's just some rice. It's rice. There's I think if there's a piece of just cooked salmon on the left. There's um, there's um, there's some ginger up at the top. Oh, um, there was a there was a ball of something. You see, there's a bit of a cooked chicken down on the right hand side at the bottom. Of course, I had to complement it with some royal milk tea, which is probably my favorite kind of tea. It's it's almost like coffee, um, but really really delicious. At any choice, oh, at any any in any case, I went to queen here. Um, the box is cheap. Like, gee, it's really cheap. Um, Actually, you like, you know, just to show you how amazing Japanese are with everything and the detail they show, one second. Let me find a way to add this next picture as well. Um, one second. Just to give you an example, uh, one second. Where is the picture? So, okay, so D4, let's play D4 here. Let me just add, let me let me find a picture of the box itself. So it was really, it was really a nice box, so I took a picture of it. Um, where is it? Yeah. Um, one second. Of course, I'm spotting him time, but in this game, it shouldn't really matter because I'm up a lot of time. Um, okay, let's just take with the pawn. Uh, let's go knight c3. He is moving quicker, so I do need to speed up the touch. Let's play uh, um, knight d3 here. One second, you guys. Um, where is the picture? Don't worry, you guys. I'm not worried about the clock. It'll all be good. Um, let's see. Okay, rookie A. Let's just play A3. Actually, I'm way down on the clock. Uh, what do I have? Six knights, four, five, six against two rooks and two pieces. So this is actually a little bit tight at the moment. I do need to kind of focus. Let's go knight before, knight d5 maybe. Knight a1 was better probably, but still. One second, let me find the picture of the box. There we go. Uh, let's just go King D2. So yeah, so like, just to show you the artwork, like here's a picture of the box on the outside. Like, I mean, it's like a $5 box, but there's still this really, really nice, um, nice, nice artwork on the, on the outer side of the box. Okay, I should really focus. So give me one second, you guys. Um, so yeah, let's play knight d4, idea knight d6, maybe knight b5. But yeah, so that's the box. So that's just one, that's another example. Um, I will take with the pawn and go knight d6, I think, here. Low on time? Nah, it's all good, you guys. Knight d6, probably he'll take. If he doesn't, maybe I'll just play knight d4. Let's go knight d4, hit the pawn, knight g5 tricks are abounding now. Uh, 
I should take this pawn. Now I'm hitting both rooks as well. All right, so next image we'll show is, um, okay, what is this? Is there a threat? If I go 94? Not really. So, okay, so, um, so yeah, so this was, I believe, uh, I think that was actually cheese, if I remember correctly. Let's just check picking up the rook. Um, I believe this was, uh, like just cheese, grilled cheese inside of seaweed with, um, again, with some, with some, with some ocha, which is tea, um, as well. So not anything overly special, but amazingly good, surprisingly. Um, so, okay, that, that's, um, So, okay, and now we're gonna get serious again. We're gonna get very, very serious. Um, okay, it's time for more seriousness. So here we go. Um, here's another picture again. Here we go. Oh, is it cut off at the top? It's cut, isn't it? Um, okay, who cares about my ugly face? Let's put this up top. There you go. Um, okay, now you should have been up too. So once again, more ramen. Thank you, Chess, for reading with a party of 74. This is another picture of food. More ramen from, uh, from Japan. This one, again, I think was somewhere in Tokyo. Uh, thank you once again to Chess for the rating of the party of 74. Let's play D3, C4, Knight, C3. Yeah, so lots of onions in this one. This is also a good piece of ham. Um, I believe this was also in Tokyo. Did I take these shots? Yes, this is food that I ate myself. This is this is food that I ate myself. Um, so yeah, so you'll see it's, it's, it's really, really nice. This is like, uh, this is uh, the, the real stuff. This is the real stuff. So very, very nice ramen that I had. Um, why do you have pics of great ramen on the screen? Because I'm showing pictures of uh, how you, the kind of food that I eat in Japan. So a lot of people have been asking on stream, they're like, well, you know, do you eat a lot of sushi in Japan? Um, <laughs> do, do you eat, um, do you eat a lot of sushi in Japan? And generally I'm like, no, I don't. Because when I'm in Japan, uh, I tend not to actually eat for what you would call traditional sushi that often. Uh, I tend to eat very traditionally when I'm in Japan, like a proper Japanese, uh, like a proper Japanese gentleman. Thank you, Pino724, for the 500 bits. Um, so that's another picture. Now here's a picture from when I was at my grandmother's house. Uh, another example of how when you're in the house, you eat quite a bit differently from how, how we eat in America. Um, so there you guys go. That's another picture. I'm going to play D4, takes, takes. Um, it's, is it cut off? It, it might be slightly cut off. Not really. So, okay. So yeah, so there you guys go. Um, actually, I'll, I'll cut it off a little bit more and make this a little bit bigger down at the bottom. So there you go. Uh, so that's like Japanese hot, that's like Japanese um, hot pot essentially. Uh, this is when I was at my grandmother's house in Kagoshima, Japan. Um, uh, I, it's worth noting my grandmother is 90, I think she was 94 years old at the time of this picture. So play B4 here, kick the knight. Um, Again, but this is why you live to live forever in Japan. Just very healthy. Um, you know, you just have a hot pot. You, of course, boil the meats. You put the meats in. Um, let's play rook c1 here. This is a bad position for black. Very passive. Nothing is developed. Uh, let's just take. Yeah, so um, you just throw it all. You throw it all in the hot pot and boil it. And it's mm, 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 delicious stuff. Really, really good. Really, really nice. So, yeah, so that's, um, that's, uh, okay, let's play e4 here. So too many vegetables from you. Well, you know, you got to eat vegetables, turkey lizard. If you want to live to 100, you better eat some veggies. Eat your veggies, man. Don't disappoint me. Um, okay, b5 played. I guess I'll just play bishop d3, see if he wants to lock it up or not. Uh, he plays knight b6. So I'm going to play bishop f6, force him to move the rook as well here. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I guess we will play g5 here. So Okay, so that's more veggies, you guys. Now we go to the to another style of ramen. This is ramen I had in Kagoshima. Um, so it's a little bit different. Sorry about that. There we go. So here you guys go. Uh, now this one is cut to the top. So let's do this. Next picture. Oh, who cares about my ugly face? I'll cut myself off. Just play knight g4. Um, so here's the next picture. This is ramen that I had at the train at the train station in Kagoshima when I when I first arrived. Uh, I hadn't eaten breakfast or lunch. Or actually, I had breakfast on the train, but I had to have a big lunch, so I decided to have uh, have some ramen. This this is a Kagoshima, Kagoshima style ramen. How do you drink the soup without a spoon? Very funny. Well, you don't have to drink the soup, but um, but yeah. So this was um, yeah. So this uh, this was ramen that I had at the train station in Kagoshima. Again, 
really, really nice. As you see, this is not this is not your you know fifteen dollar overpriced ROM that you have in, in New York or LA. This is the real this is the real stuff. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I think I might have gotten a double double of uh, of the meat in it as well. It was just really, really good. Um, so yeah, so this was, uh, this was some ROM that I had in Japan, in Kagoshima. Just amazing stuff. Really, really amazing stuff. Um, uh, can't complain at all. Just, in fact, now that I'm looking at the picture, it's making me, it's making me want to actually get some ROM now, even though I ate lunch. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, really, really good. So next game, um, so this was, the next picture is going to be, it's a little out of order, but nonetheless, next picture is uh, a breakfast that I had. In at my grandmother's place in Kagoshima. Again, this is this is how you live to be a hundred years old. Just a very simple breakfast. Uh, some rice, some miso soup here on the right hand side. Um, top left, I forget what you call that. Um, it's, it's again more veggies. Some some sliced egg there. You see right above. Of course, you've got the cup for some more ocha, um, which is which is tea in Japanese. Um, waiting on the next game. Maybe Chesapeake is getting distracted by the food pictures too. Um, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, so yeah, just some miso soup, some rice, uh, some, some sliced egg, uh, just some veggies. I mean, this is, this is how you guys live to be a hundred years old. Quite simple, quite simple. Just very simple. This is how you live to be a hundred years old. Keep it simple. You don't eat, you don't eat like this English breakfast. None of this bad stuff like sausage, hash browns, all this, all this, you know, greasy, gooey stuff that's going to like, you know, clog your arteries. Just very simple. Is that all for breakfast? I can barely eat a toast. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, and I have another picture. Let me see if I can rotate this. Um, can I rotate this? Maybe I can rotate this. This is another picture from breakfast. Can I rotate this? I can't really, um, is there a way to rotate in Google? I want to rotate this. I can't, I can't, can't quite rotate this, but you see there's also this red stuff here that's similar to the last picture, and there's also some, I think that's, is that dried fruit? I forget what it is. Um, Uh, I can't rotate it, but you see it's just you have your rice you just put a little sprinklings and toppings on it um, You right click. Yeah, I right click on it But it doesn't work because I'm doing I'm opening a I'm opening a link from a picture that I posted So whatever I can rotate an OB. Oh an OBS. I can rotate Wait transform. Oh my gosh, you guys are geniuses. Wait. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying um, Rotate 90 degrees. You're right rotate uh, Rotate 90 degrees there you guys. Oh, you guys are geniuses. Thank you so much. So, right. So, um, you guys are geniuses. Thank you. Um, okay. So yeah, so you see it. So like now, okay. This isn't just, you know, just another picture. Okay. I'm down a queen here. Let's play knight f3. Um, right. So you see like, again, this is just very simple. You just have your rice. You've got your toppings that you put on. Maybe you put some furikake on it as well. Those of you who know what furikake is, um, that's uh, just like a sprinkling that you can put on. Um, so yeah, so this the, just, you know, again, another breakfast picture, keeping it really simple. No, you know, no, no, like no sausage McMuffin or any kind of terrible, like English breakfast stuff. Just very simple. Just rice, a few little toppings and keep it really simple. So, all right. So that's that. So next picture we're going to show, um, more, this is another very hardcore picture. Oh, oh, now I have to rotate. Shoot. One second. Um, uh, one second. One second. Rotate. Nice. Or wait, whoops, wrong way. Um, sorry, one second. Uh, there you guys go. So now I'll, I'll re I'll readjust this. Um, okay, so so now you guys get to see another picture of my beautiful beautiful lunch here. I just put this over just a touch. Okay, let's play C3. This is um, this is eel that I had at um, the temple in Tokyo. It was very close by. Um, I forget what the Tokyo was called. It's a very big one um, that I went to. Uh, what is it called? I forget. It's it's a very famous famous uh, temple. Play knight C3 here. Yeah, so it's eel. Have I tried natto? I love natto. I have pack. I have a pack of natto in my fridge right now. Um, I haven't eaten it yet, but I've got a pack of fridge. Or pack of fridge. I got a pack of natto in my fridge. So yeah. So this is some eel. Again, just a very simple meal. Got it um, right outside the temple. Um, just just uh, some some just eel over rice, freshly cooked. By the way, I might add. So like, I don't know if this next picture is gonna gonna show correctly. I, I'm not sure if it's blurry or not, but let's see. Um, 
so yeah, so like, so you guys, whoops, oops, sorry, wait, okay, there we go. Um, so like, so this is a picture from the restaurant where I was at, where I got the eel. So you look, you see these uh, older gentlemen, they're just, they're, they're just, they're just hacking the eel and cooking it right there, right before you eat it. Um, let's just play A3 kick tonight. Uh, so yeah, so you see like, they're just doing it on site. They're just cooking endlessly. They're just making the eel endlessly. So it's very fresh. Uh, and just really, really fantastic. Um, so yeah, this, this is how it should be. It shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be pre-packaged like we do here in America. You just cook it fresh right on site. Um, and you see, they're just doing this all day long. So they're just, they're just, they're just making, they're just making eel all day long. Um, let's go Bishop G2 here. I'm down a minute on the clock. Let's play Rook C1. Uh, really, really good stuff. Let's play E5. I'm way down on the clock, so I might need to move quicker here. Play H4. Play Bishop H3. He'll play like, I hit the Rook. Maybe I move the Knight. Maybe I just move my Rook. I'll move my Rook to keep the Bishop on the board here. This guy's playing really well, so he's probably a bit stronger than 15, 12, to be honest, because he's playing, he's playing like close to probably like 15, he's probably playing close to like 17, 1800. Jonas is in the chat. Jonas missed the ramen pictures, but I'll give Jonas an encore presentation of ramen since Jonas was with me when we uh, when when we did eat ramen in LA. So he'll get an encore. But before we do the encore of the three ramen pictures again, we'll go right back to um, one more. Whoops, whoops, sorry. One more picture, and this is another. This was a picture from the temple. This was um, this is a uh, this is a uh, matcha tea that I had uh, again in another temple in Tokyo. Um, Really, really, really good. So you'll see like matcha is generally very bitter. Matcha tea is very bitter. So, oh, I missed F6 winning the rook, stupid me. Um, so matcha, matcha is very bitter, but you'll see like right next to the matcha, you get these little tablets to like take the bitters out. out. So those, those tab, they aren't antacids, they're tablets that basically, they take away the bitterness. So it's like, it's like a sweet. So it, it takes away the bitter taste. So you can either like, you, I think you just put the tablets in with the matcha and, um, and they melt in the matcha and then like the taste, it's just, it's not overly bitter. I actually like matcha a little bit on the bitter side, so I didn't really use the tablets, um, but you can use the tablets to like make it a little bit less bitter. So, so yeah, so, um, so yeah, let's play King H2. Oh, I'm way down on the clock still, so I need to move quicker. Let's go Rook F3. Probably I'll try to go like Rook F2. I'm actually, in a, eh, I don't know, Knight, F, Knight H5 is a good pre-move, but I like it. Um, let's play Rook E2, let's see if he trades. If he doesn't trade, I'll probably play like E6 or something. Let's go E6 here. Let's go check. I'll even just pre-move check. Pre-move Rook, um, I don't know if Rook E5 or Rook. I think he's gonna go to G8 is my guess. He could go to E8, but he goes to G8. Okay, let's play Rook E5. He's getting a little bit low on the clock now. Okay, I just play like takes. He's gonna have to take the Knight and I play like Rook E2 probably. Okay, Bishop G2. Play Rook F3. Check. F5. It takes. Now nah, I just won the game. Takes. Throw on a pre move, rook h5. King g4. All right, that's another one in the book. So, yeah, so there you guys go. There are the pictures from uh, from when I was in Japan. Some really, really uh, nice food pictures. Um, hope you enjoyed them. Those aren't the only food pictures I have. I have food pictures from all over the world. Um, I don't really, I don't think I really took food pictures when I was in India. So, I don't really have Indian pictures, I don't think. Of the Indian food that I ate there, but but I do have pictures of many different things. I mean, we can, we can, I can go on and on and on. Um, let's play F four. Let's play D three. So here I'm down what four pieces. So let's take. So yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's remove this. Um, I need to share food pictures in Discord from Croatia. If I eat something good in Croatia, I'll share the pictures. Um, let's play check, hit the bishop, hit the king.
Okay, that's a free bishop. So step one, one piece back. Although in Japan, there is some argument over where the best ramen is. So like, there's, there's uh you can have like Kagoshima Southern ramen, but there's also Hokkaido ramen, which is very popular. There are some knockoff imitations here in the U.S. where they claim it to be, they claim it to be like Sapporo or Hokkaido ramen from the north. Um, I don't really believe it, but, but there are, they do claim it. Like there's, there's ramen Santuka, I think, which is a chain, which they say is like, um, from Sapporo. Uh, but yeah. There's a lot of good ramen in Japan. That's, I mean, the ramen you eat in the U.S. is just not real ramen most of the time. Uh, let's just go C4. Although, like I said, there are some good places. Um, like there's um, there's Nakamura's in Brooklyn, which I really like. Uh, big fan of Nakamura's in in um, in, uh, in in Brooklyn. Man, this guy's playing well too. He's this guy's not a thousand. He's playing a lot better than one thousand. This guy's probably like fifteen hundred as well. Four pieces is generally too much. I think I'm gonna lose this game. I don't really see how I can't. I mean, it's like borderline impossible to not lose this game. Um, Cause actually like queen is pro, uh, play rook f1. Um, at, Goober says, I live in Torrance and Japanese food scene is great here. Actually, I believe that Jonas is in Torrance. That's where I've spent some uh, uh, time as well. Jonas works at a brewery there, not to like dox Jonas, but he works at a brewery in, uh, in, um, in Torrance. Are these rated? No, but no, and I'm going to lose this game. This guy's playing. This guy's not 1000. This guy's like 1500 probably. So he's, he, the, the odds are, are too great. The, uh, the odds are not in my favor in this game. When you five, uh, I don't even know what I can do. Like play rook d1 or something. Like if he finds rook d3, I just lose basically. Okay, but let's go queen h6. Let's try to get tricky here. Uh, he, uh, I was hoping he would just play like f3 or something. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to play f3 and I can get g6, but he doesn't. Okay. Um, although taking was not the best move because he has to find, he still has to find like a couple good moves here. I mean, it's still completely winning, obviously. Wow, okay, so I take. Let's go rook g1. He blundered, wow, he just blundered. He just blundered, he's getting checkmated on f8 after rook e1. Wow, he, oh wow. But now he's getting mated on f8 again. Oh man. So that's why he shouldn't have taken on g5, but once he did, the key move here was he could have played rook g3, cutting off the rook, so he, so that I can't, can't take because if I take he just takes my queen uh f6 was also winning but yeah he fell apart really fast here um here he had rookie one checking still winning after queen h1 um after uh yeah okay <laughs>